What up, Instagram and YouTube? It's your boy Salty Redcorn. We are back from Pirate Land. I'm back here at Redcorn Ranch, and I have a pretty cool knife I want to talk about. It's a slip joint, and I have a pretty unpopular opinion for you, all right? So this is the Medford Gentleman Jack. All right, the reason my opinion is unpopular is because I think this is probably one of the best slip joints that I've tried, and a lot of slip joint people are probably going to say, no, that's not the case. Now, is it the best in all ways? Not at all. Very far from it. But for me, this has pretty much been the best slip joint that I could see myself carrying as of right now, if I had a ton of money. Because uh, this knife is really expensive. We'll start off with the price. I think it starts off at about $500, maybe a little bit more. And that's a lot of money. But you're paying for USA Made and you're paying for the name. And you're paying for a really good quality because it's good quality. Uh, some of the things that I don't like about it, the walk and talk isn't really that strong. Not a lot of sound coming from it. Not a lot of audible noise that you get from some of the other slip joints I've tried. The little USA Made Wesson. A lot of walk and talk, a lot of good sound from that. Um, but overall, I mean, it's smooth, right? It's not crazy strong, it's not powerful, but it's smooth, right? Give you guys some of that. It's there, it's just not the best I've heard. Um, I love the grind, nice hollow grind on this thing with a really long fuller or nail nick. And the grind line terminates in a really nice way where you could definitely sharpen this thing up good. And overall, S35VN is a good steal. And I'm pretty sure Medford does a good job at it. Not 100% on that because I don't have a lot of experience with Medford. But I've done a lot of reading and people like their S35. So S35VN, good for me. Um, I like the overall style of it. It's plain. It's simple. Nothing crazy about this. And it's not trying to be a modern traditional. It's not trying to be an old style knife. It's just, it is what it is. It's itself. All right. And I can really appreciate that. I like the titanium handle scales. I do not like this proprietary, you know, pivot thing. Not really like you're going to be taking this knife apart often, but you know, it doesn't make sense to me. They have a Torx back here and then they have like a proprietary pivot, which is kind of strange. Um, I like the lanyard loop. All right. It's a little bit small. I don't know, really know what you're going to fit through there. They could have, they could have just extended it a little bit more and put a round hole in there instead of this thing. You could run a flat piece of uh, leather through it. No problem. If this was mine, I would probably run like a small leather, uh, pull lanyard, nothing crazy, something short. Um, I don't need to extend the range. I can get my hands on this right? Just a little bit left over. I can get my full hand on this. And that's important to me. I like single bladed slip joints that are large enough to use as an EDC knife. I know a lot of you guys, everybody's got different uses for their knife. But for me, I use these things pretty hard at work. I do a lot of stuff that I don't want to say that most people won't, but a lot of people in the community that I see, they don't do the kind of stuff that I do with knives, right? So I would definitely be using this hard and I can appreciate the materials, right? Another thing that I like is it says made in the United States. It's written in cursive, engraved deeply here on the back. I like that. I think that's a really nice touch. Really good thing. Minimal branding on here. We have the Medford logo on the blade. The belt satin on this is nice. Belt satin isn't typically the my go-to. Um, although I do like it when it's done well. And this is done really well. We have nice, deep grind lines on this that I can really appreciate. Um, there's also a difference in finish on the nail neck. It seems like it's kind of like a dark bead blasted inside there. So it kind of is, you know, accents the handle scale color. This is a bronze titanium handle and it's all done really well. Nice smooth chamfering around here. And overall, this is a very simple knife that I can really appreciate. I'm assuming that it's probably got some sort of phosphor bronze in there and it works well. It definitely works well. Uh, overall, I give this thing a really good rating. I really like this. I mean, aside from the price, but that's something that you're going to end up paying for if you want what you want. You know what I mean? I can't knock the price and can't say, oh, it's not worth the price because, you know, to whoever's going to buy this, you know, 
like I said, if I had more money, I would buy something like this because I really, really enjoy this. Um, but, you know, price isn't always a factor. You can't say, oh, I can't go get this for this price. I mean, whatever. It is what it is. You know, price is what it is. There's demand for this, clearly. And the materials are good, clearly. And it's made in the United States, so you're supporting Americans. That's fine. Totally fine. 500 bucks, whatever. If this is what you're going to buy with 500 bucks, go buy it. It's America. Um, so, yeah, overall, I think this thing's pretty cool. Pretty cool. This is definitely the best that I've tried for my personal use so far. That's my opinion. I'm sticking to it, right? So this is the Medford Gentleman Jack, an S35BN and bronze titanium, all right? Let's put this away so I can get these shipped back to Satu Dave. Thank you, Satu Dave, for lending these out to me. I really appreciate checking them out. They're awesome. I love every bit of them. If I, was, if I had more money, I would probably be diving straight into this Medford stuff because I really like it. I, I looked at their models. I like a ton of their models. And um, yeah, so that's that. Let's take a look at my carry. I'm carrying that Viperade pouch that I showed you guys yesterday with the same gear in it, the Olight um, i3T, Zebra Pen, and a mini bug out. The same Casio watch. I've just rolled in the driveway from Pirate Land. We're just getting back right now. We're really excited. We're going to book another trip somewhere else in South Carolina and take another drive in about a month. So stay tuned for that. Um, Mammoth Headgear Mountain Trucker Hat. This is a brand new one for me. I don't normally, I've never had a white hat. This is the first for me because I get dirty. Uh, we're going to see how long it lasts. And uh, really, if you guys like these and got fat head, go check them out and use my code salty red corn. You're going to get 10% off. Well worth it. Um, that's going to do it. That's it for me. Oh, no, it's not it. <laughs> Tactical Everyday Dad Grizzlar in Magna Cut with tritium and this little glow bead. I love this knife. As you guys can see, I put the beans on this thing. Really put the beans on this knife. We're going to do an update on that in the future. I hope everyone had a really good time at Blade Show this year. I hope everybody got what they wanted. I really wish I could have been there, but I had a lot of fun with my family, and I plan to go next year, probably tow this camper down there with the whole family and make a family outing at a Blade Show. So look forward to that next year. If you like this kind of video, smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, and tell your boy Salty Redcorn what you want to see. Until next time, stay fresh, stay sharp. Peace out.